Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday Morning Yoga in the Park. I'm Tommy, going to be guiding you through your practice. Uh, just a couple quick announcements. Next week, uh, we will be moving over to Francis Stephen Park. So that's downtown, right across uh, from Coffee with a K, uh, right there uh, in the plaza downtown. So um, we'll be there for a few weeks while they see the park out here. Um, as well, we got the Desert AIDS Walk um, out here on Saturday. So please come uh, say hello to us. We'll be doing a little yoga warm up before the walk. And uh, we'll have a booth out there. So come by and say hi. Uh, all right, so for this morning's sequence, we're going to sort of piggyback on our sequence last week. We we're getting into that hip mobility. So we're going to work down a little bit into the legs. We'll get into the hamstrings, the quads, the calves, really stretch, flex, strengthen, work all those muscles that you should be using for walking, biking, hiking, whatever, boat your boat, yoga. So we're going to actually start standing. So let's just come up into standing position. Take those toes, spread them out nice and wide, big toes down. Get some space in between them, root down through the heels. Go ahead and close the eyes and we'll just roll the shoulders up and back a few times, just beginning to open up the front side of the body, the chest. So take them up towards the ears, draw them back towards each other, and then just let them slide back down. Fingertips down towards the ground. And begin to make that breath body connection by taking a breath in through the nose. Let that roll over the back of the throat and begin to fill up the torso down into the belly, expand those sides of the ribs. And a nice slow exhale out the nose. Just be here for a few moments, beginning to find the rhythm of your breath. As you begin to find that rhythm, set the weight of your body, help you sort of ground down and root into your heels, your feet, helping you land in this moment. Next inhale, let that help you find a little bit of lift and lightness in your heart, in the crown of your head. Lifting up towards the sky. And then also just pay a little bit of attention to trying to have equal distribution of weight in both legs, both feet. We typically lean into one leg when we're standing, one hip. So we're starting to find some balance and equal distribution of weight. Shift a little bit side to side. And then come to a nice still position where that balance is equally distributed. So finding some balance from left to right, also finding that balance as we root and rise. And then just let that breath flow in between these two opposing forces at work. Just trust that you've made the best decision that you can for yourself this morning by showing up for your practice. Taking some time for yourself for that self exploration, surrender and solitude. And just making that next hour commitment to be here in this moment alone, everything else off the mat can work. So I'll take one more deep communal breath in through the nose, drawing that space or that breath into the spaces between the ribs, the backside of the body. And then nice, slow exhale. Just let those shoulders pull away from the ears a little bit further. We'll softly blink the eyes open. Let's go ahead and roll the shoulders back. Go ahead and pull the elbows together, almost as if you're putting your hands like you're gonna slide them into your pocket. Bring them to the low back, draw those elbows together. Puff out through the chest. Just a little gentle back bend. So take the hips slightly forward. Nice big breath as you broaden through the clavicles, the collarbones. Open the heart a little bit more. Let's do that one more time. One more big breath here. And exhale, we'll let that go.
All right, let's start to get into the feet here. We're just gonna start working into the calves. So bring the hands to the hips. We're just gonna roll up, coming up to sort of tiptoes, balls of the feet, Barbie doll feet, whatever you wanna call it. Just starting to wake up the backs of the legs, the calves, the ankles. Just rocking up, dropping back down. A few more times. All right, let's go ahead and stretch out the tops of the feet. We'll take the left foot, and kind of ball up the toes, just stretch across the front of the foot. You can sort of roll the knee or the ankle in a circle. Just loosen up the ankles and stretching out. Further back, you take the feet, a little bit more intense it's going to be. Shake it out. Let's take that to the other side. Circle it out. Find a spot that feels good. Try to shake that out. All right, so we're gonna stretch through the calves a little bit more. So take one foot forward, take left foot forward, right leg back. And this is gonna be a little bit different for everybody. So you're gonna press out through that heel to straighten that leg. You might need to go a little deeper. You might need to almost like bend into that front leg and sort of get a lunge there. You're going to feel it. And just when you feel that sort of sweet spot of stretching out that back calf, just rock back and forth. Pause where it feels really good, pressing out through that heel. A little bit of a balance. Right. But shorten that up. Take it to the other side. Nice firm foundation in that front leg. And it's pushing out through that back heel, straightening out through the calf, find that sweet spot, and just sort of rock back and forth really good up there. Legs back together, let all that go. Start to get into the quads here. We're gonna lean into the toes. Bring the knees about hip width distance apart. We're gonna drop into a chair pose. So take the fingertips forward, start to sit back in your seat, shift the weight into the toes. You're gonna to fire up the fronts of the legs here, squeeze the thighs together as if you were squeezing a block in between them. Be here for a few breaths. Take the arms up a little bit higher, open the chest. Deep breath in. Exhale, engine fold. Bend and straighten the leg. Start to draw those hips back. Straighten out the legs. Start to stretch out the hamstring. Inhale, roll all the way up. Fingertips up to touch. Sit back into that chair. Shift the weight into those balls of the feet. Maybe the heels start to float up. Get a balance here. Squeeze those thighs together. Quads are fired up, turning on here. Lift the arms up, open the chest, big breath in. Exhale, hinge and fold. One more time, inhale, roll it all the way up. Gentle back bend here. Palms down to heart center. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take the hands to the hips. We're going to do that forward fold again, but we're going to kind of work through it slowly. So we're going to inhale here. As you exhale, we're going to start to fold forward. I want you to pull your hips back as much as you can. It's almost as if somebody was behind you, sort of pulling back your hip bones. Lengthen out through that torso. And then go ahead and slide the palms down and the shins coming into the half fold. So we're really focused on the hamstrings here, turning them on by pulling the thighs back, pulling the hips back and then lengthening through the torso, that crown of the head forward. Pause here for a breath. Exhale, hinge and fold all the way down. Pull those hips back, sway them side to side a little bit. Hamstrings starting to turn on, lengthen, flex and stretch. Pull all the way back up again. And exhale, palms to hips. Inhale here, same thing. Hips back, 
pull them back a little bit further this time. Lengthen through that torso and crown. Big breath. You can have a little bend in the knees if you need it. Slide the palms down to shins or tops of thighs. Flatten out the back a little further. Big breath in. Exhale, fold down. Rock side to side. Let's go ahead and grab for opposite elbows. Draw the elbows down, lengthen out through the back a little bit deeper. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, fold in a little further. Go ahead and plant the hands down. We're going to step all the way back. Pause in a plank pose, press out through those heels, stretch out through the calves a little bit more. Push them up and out of the shoulders. And then push all the way back down your dog. So take your time stretching out each calf one at a time. So typically we pedal out kind of left to right. So shorten up the stance on one side. Come up to the balls of the feet, begin to descend down through that heel, start to stretch out the calf. Dropping that heel down as much as comfortable. Shorten up the stance a little bit more, keep that heel down deeper. And then begin to pull your heart back towards your legs a little bit more and pull your hips back and feel that stretch start to go up into that hamstring. The more you sort of have that action of pulling the heart space back towards the legs, the hip back, that stretch will deepen up the leg into that hand a little bit. Pause where it feels good. And then switch sides. So shorten up the other leg. Stretch out the calf. Descend down through the heel. Pull the heart back towards the leg a little bit more. Pull the hip back and feel that stretch go up the leg into the hand. Take both feet back towards the back of the mat. Widen your stance up a little bit. So feet are a little bit further out than about shoulder width apart. Press down through the heels and then rock a little bit side to side, pulling the hips back, getting into the hamstrings a little deeper. Feet back to center, rock hip width is apart. Take the left leg up and back. Go ahead and bend that leg, stack and open up the hip. Nice big breath in, just let the weight of that ankle sort of roll that hip open. One more breath here. Square the hips back to center, left leg up. Exhale, send it forward. We're gonna come into a warrior one. So help that leg forward as much as you need to. Drop the back heel. That back foot's about 45 degree angle, a little bit different for everybody. Begin to draw the energy up. Begin to draw the tailbone down. And firm up that back leg by pulling the back knee up and in. Hips are going to want to sort of open to the side, so steer them towards the front of the mat as much as possible. Inhale, arms up over the head. Sink down into that lunge a little deeper. Big breath in here. On the exhale, we're going to take it into a pyramid pose. So bring that back foot facing forward. Also have your blocks here. And then straight into that front leg. Before you fold in over it, reach forward with the crown, pull the hips back. Big breath in. And exhale, fold in over that front leg. You can have a little micro bend in that front knee if you need it. Inhale, bring the torso up halfway, find a little bit more length. Exhale, fold in. Pause here, pulling that left hip back. Go ahead and 
bend into that front knee, blocks off to the side, palms down, steps all the way back to a plank pose. Pause here, modify if needed by dropping the knees down. Big breath in. On the exhale, let's lower down knees, chest and chin all the way down. Side to side, come into a cobra pose. Up and just draw the elbows in towards the ribs where that lower back starts to pop. Big breath here. Exhale, front of the head down. Push yourself right back into plank or work some tabletop. Push back down and up. Settle your dog out. Abs, hammy starting to open up a little bit here, hopefully. Take the right leg up and back, stack the hip, open it up. Let gravity you just do its work here. Nice big breath. Square hips back to center. Inhale here, leg up. Exhale. Take your time, send it forward. Work it up. And then we'll drop that back heel down about 45 degrees. Get your blocks set up so they're alongside you. Take it up warrior one. Checking with those hips, doing the adjustment if you need to. Pressing down to the back edge of that back foot, that back knee pulled up and in, and it's sinking into the front leg. One more breath. Exhale, palms down, blocks available, pop the back foot up, bring it in a little bit, shorten up that stance so you can get the heel down as much as you can. Before you fold in, inhale, lift with the crown, reach it forward. Exhale, to fold it in. Draw that right hip back. Inhale halfway, find a little bit more length. Exhale, fold in, maybe a little bit deeper. One more round of breath here. Bend into that front knee, blocks off to the side. Take the palms down, step all the way back, plank pose. Adjust knees, chest, chin. If you would like, full chaturanga. Back of the choice, cobra, up dog, sphinx. Pause for a breath here. And exhale back. Be here for two cycles of breath. Next inhale, on the exhale, step pop or foot forward. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, fold in. Yeah. Three blocks along, just bring them in front of your face. We're going to bring the feet out a little bit wider and about, say, shoulder width distance. We're going to work through some more forward folds here. Inhale, halfway lift. And then as you exhale, fold in. Now, blocks are great here, so you have a little bit more stability. You can come down to the forearms, have hands on them. But we just want to start rocking the hips side to side. You can bend the knees as much as you need to, pulling the hips back, and you're sort of rotating the hips almost like in a little half circle. Add on by popping up one leg at a time, so bending into one knee. Straightening out through that hamstring, pulling the hips back, letting the toes pop up. It takes a little bit to kind of feel out the sensation. Deepening those hamstring stretches a little bit further. A 
One more round of breath here. Exhale, let it all go. Plant the hands down. We're going to step back into plank. And we're just going to work through a little sequence here into the leg. So press up out of your shoulders. We're in plank pose. We're going to bend the knees. We're going to pull the hips back almost like you're getting into like a runner start. So you're bending the knees up onto the balls of the feet. Inhale here. You exhale, you're going to roll forward, coming into a plank. And you're leaning out over those ribs. Pause here for a breath. Push back to down dog, come up onto the balls of the feet and then descend the heels down. We're gonna do that two more times. Bend the knees, pull the hips back, get into that runner's lunge. Quads are fired up, roll forward, out over the heel or out over the hand. Push back. Balls of the feet, down dog, and then just send the heels down. Last time. And then start lunge, pull the hips back, roll it forward, pull that belly up and in, push back, down dog, pause your breath. Inhale here. Exhale, step top foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold down. Inhale, roll it up. Nice and easy. Then go back bend. And palm down to heart center. Pause here for a breath. Let some of that energy settle in the body. Down into the legs. Let's let that go. Shake it all out. All right. We're going to do a little wide leg stance. So bring your blocks towards the center of your mat, probably <laughs> facing that way. So you have them available. We'll come into a wide stance with the toes slightly pointed in. Let roll shoulders up, back and down. Slide the hands back into the pocket. Hips come slightly forward. Let's take a nice big breath in. On the exhale, begin to hinge and fold forward. Let the weight of your head just fall towards the mat. You can grab for the backs of the calves here to get a little bit more stability back to the thigh. Release any tension you might be holding in the jaw, the neck, the face. So I bring blocks right underneath the face. We'll halfway lift, palms into the blocks, pull those thighs back a little bit more. And then we're going to come into some lunges here. So you can even have the block a little bit higher if you need it by stacking it up lengthwise on top of uh, the short. And then the way we're going to work into these lunges is we're rotating one of the feet out. So you're letting that thigh open up. If you're here and you're trying to lunge, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So rotate, let that thigh open up, let the toes pop up, and then sink into that lunge wherever feels good. We may just be up here, which is all good. Deepen a little bit more, getting into those hamstrings, popping those toes up, pulling the hips in the other direction. Pause where it feels good. Let's do a few more of those. Back to center, feet facing forward now, palms to hips, and bring yourself back up. We'll take it into a triangle pose. So let's turn the left foot out and opening up that hip. 
Go ahead and dip the hip, straighten the leg, grab your block, place it on the outside of the foot if you like, and then reach forward and begin to stack those shoulders up. Pull that top shoulder back so you open up through the chest. You have a little micro bend in that front leg if you need it. Nice big breath into the back, belly slightly pulling in. Do one more round of breath here. And then we'll bend into that front knee. And we'll just take it straight to extended side and open. Options here to take the elbow to the knee. Outside of that block. And we're bending and lunging in. One more breath. Use that core strength to bring yourself all the way up to a warrior two. Check in with those thighs. Make sure that front knee isn't rolling in. So open up as much as you can through the front of the body. Let's reverse that warrior by taking it up and over the ear. Big breath into the front side ribs. One more breath, back to warrior two. We'll go ahead and straighten up, turn both toes towards the front. And we'll take that same sequence other side. Move the block over, have that available. Returning out to the right foot, heel to arch alignment, go ahead and dip that hip, reach forward with those fingertips and then transition by stacking the shoulders as much as you can, pulling that top shoulder back, broaden through the clavicles and the chest. One more round here. All right, we'll transition. Extended side angle, bend into that knee. Elbow to knee, out, uh, hand to block. Take that top arm up and across the ear. You can always take it in front of the face if you use, if you use a little bit more mobility in that shoulder. Active in the belly so you're not sinking into that front arm. And then use that core strength to bring yourself all the way back up, sink into warrior two. Nice and easy, move with the breath, reverse warrior. One more breath here. Exhale, release, back to warrior two. We'll turn the toes back to center. Turn the heels in. We'll come into a goddess pose. So back into those quads. Rock a little side to side. Open the front side of the body as much as you can so those shoulders aren't rolling forward. Descend down through the tail. Let's inhale, straighten up through the legs. Pause here for a breath. Big inhale. Exhale, sink back in. One more up and exhale, sink. Last time, inhale up and exhale deeper. Add on a little bit more. You can lengthen out through tops of thighs, maybe drop a shoulder in. Straighten up the legs, heel toe back in. Step to the front of the mat. Let's flow it out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold, side back. Open the hamstrings, get nice and open. Inhale, halfway lift. 
and exhale, fold in. Go ahead and plant the hands down. Step all the way back to your plank pose. Pause here for a breath. Inhale and exhale, lower down. We're gonna take it all the way down to the belly. Knees down or lower down in your chaturanga. Nice and slow. Take it all the way to the belly. Rock those hips side to side. Lengthen out to the tops of the thigh. Draw the toes back to the mat. On your elbows forward, coming into space. Elbows under shoulder. Press down into the fingertips. Pull the heart space through the shoulder. Feel that lower back fire. Let's let the crown of the head come down. Pause for a breath. Windshield wiper the legs if you want by bending the knees. Release that low back. All right. So working through some back bends here, but I want to target the quads as well. So go ahead and bring right arm forward, perpendicular across the mat. So that's going to be our stabilizer here. Make sure you're not sinking into that shoulder. So bring it in as much as you need to. So you're not dropping into the shoulder, you're pressing up, pulling the chest up. You're gonna bend the back uh, leg, reach back, see if you can get a hold of that. And pulling that heel in towards the glute, getting a nice quad stretch. So it's a back bend, it's a little bit of a twist, but also really focusing on stretching that front quad. You turn fingertips towards the front of the mat. It's going to deepen that. Obviously, the further back you start to twist or kind of look back, that's going to get into that low back a little bit more. So listen to your body. Modify as you need to. One more breath here. Gently release. It's going to want to slingshot back out of there. Go and wind yourself, untuck the shoulder, give a little shake, crown of the head down, pause for a little breath or two. Release that low back if you need it. Second side. You can also have the arm forward. It's a little different sensation. I kind of like that stability of having the elbow underneath the shoulder. And you can also try this. Pressing up out of that. Might be a little easier on the shoulder. Draw the heel in towards the front. Fingertips forward if you can get it. morning. One more round of breath here. Take your time. Exhale, release nice and easy. Take it back to center. Bend the knees, release the low back. One more here. We're going to take a bow pose. All right, so options. We can get in the full bow. We're gonna bend the legs, reach back. You can't get a hold of the heels. You can also just work through locust pose. So locust, you're just reaching towards them. Still getting that low back. Still getting those quads fired up. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and bend the legs. See if we can get a hold of those ankles. Pull the thighs in towards each other. Give them a nice squeeze. Fire up those quads. And then begin to lift and roll the chest up, kicking your feet back into the hand. Squeeze and fire up those quads a little more. Maybe the chest can lift an inch or two more. But maybe not. Big breath in. Slow breath out. Hold it. In. Exhale, release, let it go. Slide the palms underneath the shoulder head. Press all the way back. Take a child pose, nice counter to that back. 
So you can have the hips wide. I like kind of a small child's pose here. You can bring the nose in towards the knees, pull the hips back towards the heels, and reach and grab for the ankle. Give them a nice little squeeze. And let it all go. Nice, big, deep breath into the low back. Soften, release. Walk the fingertips back to the front of the back. Push back to down dog. That'll allow a little bit more. Let's do one more flow before we wind everything back down. Stick left leg up and back. Big breath in. Exhale, send it forward. Drop the back heel, warrior one. Deep breath in. On exhale, we're going to transition, warrior two. So let's feel the arch in line. Hold in the front of the body. Straighten out through that front hip. We're going to take it to triangle. Forward, back, and rotate. I'm going to give you the option here if you want to do a revolved triangle, you're going to look down towards that front foot. You're going to take that top hand, take it towards the shin or the block. This might be as far as you go. Otherwise, twist the torso, and maybe you take that top other the opposite arm towards the top <laughs> it's it's a doozy we well, worked on that hammy all right let's go ahead and release that we're going to be there too too long let's take it up from the side angle off for one round of breath Look towards the top of the mat. Windmill the hands down. Pop the back leg up. We're going to take it to a standing split. So it's kind of going to walk that back foot in, bend in the front knee a lot, then begin to float that back leg up. The hip's going to want to turn out to draw that uh, right hip down towards the mat. We're bringing the head towards the knee as much as we can. Blocks here available. Step that foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way back. That's the right center. Pause here for a breath. Second side, let's blow it out. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold all the way back. Step that left foot all the way back. Warrior one, second side. Back here. On the exhale, we'll rotate that back heel perpendicular. Heel to arch alignment. Warrior two. Straighten out that front leg. Reach it forward. Take that triangle. Stay here, or if you'd like to come along, look down towards that front leg. Pop on, come down. Rotate the torso. And stack the shoulders. Get out of there, rotate back. Bend into that front knee. Extended side angle. Big inhale here. Exhale, windmill down towards the top foot. Pop that back heel up. You begin to shorten up your stance, soften through that front knee. And begin to pull that back leg up. 
check in and rotate that hip down towards the mat. Okay, you can have a micro bend in that front leg. One more breath. Step forward. Inhale halfway. Exhale forward. Inhale all the way back up. I'll go on to the heart center, close the eyes just for a moment. So let the heartbeat settle into the chest, that energy starts to settle in the body. All right, we're just gonna work our way down. Let the legs come out in front of us. Up on a blanket or a block, if you'd like. All right, let's just give those legs a little bit of shake. That was a lot of work in the hamstrings, quads, calves. And kind of just go limp here. All right, pull those toes back towards us. Just inhale, find some length in that torso. Exhale, hinge and fold in. Deep breath into the back. Maybe lift the chin up. Find a little bit more length. Exhale, fold back. Shimmy of those hips side to side. See if you can find another little quarter inch in there. Fold in. Take the legs nice and wide. Get in front of those sit bones. Also kind of reach alongside the hip, push out through the heels and draw the toes back in. A little bit more space in the <laughs> Inhale, lift up. Exhale, begin to walk and reach forward. A little bend in those knees. Okay. And obviously, the further you walk forward or the further you Pull your thighs down towards the mat, it's going to intensify that stretch. Hmm. Be here for a few breaths. You can also bring a block along if you'd like. Crown of the head rest on that two block. And then just see what you can start to soften here. So, hamstrings are really barking at you. Sort of shorten them up a little bit. A lot of strengthening in the thighs, the legs. So now just begin to let all that begin to soften the knees. See if you can lengthen out a little bit deeper. Find some opening here. for another full cycle of breath. Walk the fingertips back in, head up. Let's go ahead and grab for the right leg. Pull that thigh up, give a little bit of help, and pull that heel in towards the opposite. Press out through that right heel. We'll bring that palm, the right palm to the inside of that thigh. We're going to open the chest, so a little bit of a twist here. And then slide that hand towards the inside of that ankle, towards the inside of that calf. You can also have a block here underneath your elbow. Pull that left shoulder back. And then take that arm up and over. 
and focus a little bit more, again, on the hamstrings, the legs today, than really just trying to get that top arm up and over. See if you can get that thigh down maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Another cycle of breath here. Let's inhale up. Turn the chest towards that extended leg. Find length in the torso. breath into the back, hold in a little bit more, and we'll release, walk down the center, and we'll go ahead and bring that right heel in, extend the other leg long, set ourselves up for second side. Gotcha. Hold it. Stop at the top. Uh, <laughs> all right. Press out through that heel on the extended leg, bringing those toes back. Taking that right arm to the inside of that thigh. Use that as leverage to open up the chest and then slide that forearm to the inside of that calf, ankle, and then take that right arm up, over. Try to lengthen up to that hamstring. You can also play around by taking that top arm to the back alongside the sacrum and use that as a little bit of leverage to twist to open the chest. Get that stretch a little bit more. Center. Take breath in here, lengthen through the torso, turn the shoulders, the chest towards that extended leg. Big breath in and exhale. Down the breath here, nice and easy. Ready? Let's walk yourself back in. Bend through that extended leg. Bring it out in front of you. Give the legs a little bit more to shake here. Let's take it all the way out to the back. Up onto the back, shoulders nice and firm. Pick up the back of the head, lengthen out through the neck a little bit, place it back down. Go ahead and bring knees up into the chest. So a little squeeze and draw that tailbone down. Little rock side to side, release that low back. Make some circles with the knees, loosen up the hips. Heels come down, pull the heels in towards the glutes. Work through some back bends here, working those quads just a little bit more. Focus on the core of the quads here. Palms alongside, uh, palms down alongside the hip points. Then we'll squeeze those thighs together, begin to come up into bridge pose. Pull that tailbone up and in. Fire up the fronts of the thighs, squeeze those thighs together. 
big breath in. And exhale, release down. We'll do that a few times here. Press in to the earth. Bring the tailbone up, thighs squeeze together. Maybe you want to add the arms up overhead. Maybe you want to open the chest a little bit more by coming into interlacing the palms, sliding one shoulder and elbow in towards another. Puff up through the chest. Again, focus on the quads here. Squeeze everything together into the center line of the body. Pause for another breath. And exhale, release. If you have the elbows underneath, gently let them come out. Release that grip of the thigh. One more round. If you'd like, you can do a supported bridge here by grabbing a block, bringing it underneath you. You can go back into that bind. You can have arms alongside hips, arms up overhead. So lots of options here. When you're ready, squeeze those thighs together. Draw that tailbone up and in. If you're going for the block, you want that right underneath that sacrum. You can be on that second level. You can be on the highest level, whatever feels good. If you're using that supported bridge, still keep those thighs fired up. Maybe arms come up overhead. Maybe you're working the bind, whatever feels good. One leg up to the sky if you like. Press out through the heel. Keep that belly fired up. Doing an extended leg. Work both sides. Come down whenever you need to. If you have the block underneath you, pull the hips up, remove the block. Let that come back down. And then a counter pose to that would be knees to chest. Maybe roll the nose up into the knees, come into a little ball, countering that back leg stretch. Let's come back down. Let's go ahead and take the legs up to the sky. So we're going to press out through the heel, drop for the backs of the thigh. Hopefully hamstrings are feeling pretty good here. You just flex and bend by lengthening the hamstring, pressing the heels up and drawing the toes back down towards you. Squeeze and hold the thighs together that you have a block in between them. Maybe take the arms back up and overhead. You're going to feel that core fire up here. Come back up, reach towards your toes. And it's a little core work here. We're just going to pulse up, reaching for the toes, maybe rounding and pulling the backs of the shoulders up. You can also reach and pull for the, or hold underneath the head just to give that neck a little bit of support. So a little abdominal work, just rolling the shoulders up, crunching in. And squeezing and holding. And let it all go. Extend the legs long. Shake out the legs. Let the belly go soft for a minute. All right, let's go ahead and take knees back into the chest. We'll keep the right knee hugged in. Extend the left leg out long. We'll go ahead and take that right arm out to a T. And the left hand across the knee to help guide it across the body coming into a twist. Shoulders firm against the mat as much as you can. Block underneath the knee if you need a little extra support. That hamstring's <laughs> been hopefully stretched out a little bit, a little bit more open if you'd like. And extend that top leg out. 
It's going to be a little bit more intense on that low back. It's going to deepen that stretch. You're going to feel that stretch go up into the back of the leg, probably up into the hip and the low back as well. And then you can intensify if you want a little deeper by taking the gaze over to the right side. Leg extended, you can kind of play around with flexing and pointing the toes. Let's pause here for a nice long cycle of breath. Find some space on that inhale. See if you can soften and deepen a little bit more. Gaze is over to the right, bring it back to center. The legs extended, go ahead and bend the knee. Bring the legs back to center. And then just bring the hips back into alignment. Maybe a little rock side to side. Release that low back. Get ourselves centered before we come into the sides. All right, knees back into chest. Left knee is hugged in, right leg long. Left arm out to a T, palm up or pound, palm down, whatever feels good. And then begin to start guiding that knee and that hip across the body. Lock underneath the knee if you need it. Modify for whatever you're looking for in this pose. You can have the knee bent. Maybe deepening by extending out through the left heel. Further by adding the gaze. Find some ease and length on that inhale. A little deeper on that exhale. One more cycle of breath. Head is twisted, bring it back to center. Legs extended, go ahead and bend through that leg. Swing your hips back to center. Bring the heels and toes together as much as you can and let the hips just open up to a super bottom muscle. So, Bring the toes to touch. You can grab for ankles and just pull the heels together a little bit more. You can also support underneath the knees by holding underneath and just pulling the knees up towards the armpits a little bit. So just do what you can do to get some softness on the inner thighs. Take a deep breath into the center of the belly and the pelvis. Soften here. Keep those knees wide. We're going to bring the feet up towards the sky, coming into a loss of a happy baby. Flex, draw the toes down towards the earth. Reach for outer edges of the feet. Draw that tailbone down. A nice big breath in. The exhale, draw the knees towards the armpits. Maybe a gentle rock side to side. One more big breath here. And when you're ready, exhale. Grab for underneath the outside of the knees. Guide the knees in towards each other. Extend the legs nice and long. Just let the ankles open up. We've done a lot of leg work here. So just 
take your time here and just really do a little full body scan, starting from the toe. Relax the ankles, relax the kneecaps. Let those ankles just open up like a book and let that opening travel up into your hips. Soften through the pelvis, tailbone. Soften the belly, the lungs and the ribs, the heart space. All the way up into the collarbones and the shoulders. Soften the throat and the jaw. Up into the face. Wow. All the way up to the crown of your head. So just be here for a few final moments. Stay connected to the breath. Be here to observe and enjoy the benefits of our practice this morning. the breath. In that small micro movement into the body by wiggling fingers and toes. Slide the ankles towards each other, flex and point the feet. The arms up overhead, you can hook the thumbs together. Extend those fingertips back. Open up the chest a little bit. Take a nice deep inhale in. A nice soft exhale. Gather those knees up into the chest. Give yourself one final little squeeze here. And take your time rolling over, falling over to one side. Make your way up to that comfortable seat. Keep the gaze soft with the eyes closed. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Slide the palms along the thighs as you draw the elbows back. Open the chest. Next inhale, find a little bit more length in that crown and spine. And the exhale, just let everything soften and move down into the hips and tail. Tips out, up to touch, and exhale, slide them down towards heart center, let the gaze follow along. We'll pause here just for a moment. Hopefully noticing the mind settling a little bit, becoming a little quieter, a little bit calmer today. Letting some of that prana, that energy we created, is settled into the corners of the body we don't normally pay attention. Take this feeling, gratitude, self-love and compassion, off the mat back into our life today, share it with others. It's truly an honor for me to guide you through your practice this morning, from my heart to yours. The light in me honors that light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Acknowledge your fellow yogis, wonderful community. Great to see you all as well.